Well, controversy tonight on the campus of Purdue about where students and staff can cast their ballot in the upcoming election. Our Jenny Runovich is looking into why vote centers are not planned at the university and the push to bring them back. Polling places at Purdue have been part of election day for years, but now a major change. None on campus. At least for now, the university late today saying it's proposed two locations for vote centers on campus, the Armory or the Recreational Sports Center. Tippecanoe County's election board now has to approve them. This follows a week of controversy with the board and the university. The election board had said no polling places at all at Purdue this year. A board staffer telling 13 News campus locations, quote, didn't meet statutory requirements. In previous elections, voters cast ballots at the Memorial Union and at Mackey Arena. And in 2020, lines went out the door at Mackey. Some say if polling places don't get approved on campus for this election, it'll be harder for thousands of students and staffers to make their voices heard. And I find that very disappointing. We should be moving the other direction and making it easier and easier and easier for people to vote. Um, it's a basic right, in my opinion. If you're eligible, you should be able to vote, and, and it should be an easy thing to do. Again, Purdue now saying it's working with the election board to find a fix and bring back voting centers on campus. In West Lafayette, Jenny Runovich, 13 News. And just yesterday, the state Democratic Party called out both Purdue and the county election board. It said taking away an on-campus polling site suppresses the ability for students to cast a ballot and is, quote, just plain wrong. Well, the first batch of absentee ballots will be mailed out in Marion County this week. And if you asked for one, you are not alone. A spokesperson for the Marion County Clerk's Office says more than 10,000 voters have requested to vote absentee by mail. The Marion County Election Board is preparing to send those out now. You should start seeing them in your mailboxes early next week. And if you have not registered to vote yet, you have until October 7th to make that happen. Howard County is adding 20 new touchscreen voting machines for the upcoming election. Our news gathering partners at the Coco Tri Kokomo Tribune report the machines will be set up at the county's busiest voting centers. The machines will cost $97,000, but a federal grant and the clerk's office is covering a majority of the cost. And 13 News wants to know what you care about this election. What are the most important issues? Yeah, well, you got to tell somebody. You could tell us which issues will decide your vote in November through our voter survey. You can scan the code that you see right here on your screen or just head on over to WTHR.com vote. And a new $27 million multi-use development is coming to Westfield. These renderings show what Ambrose on Main will look like. It's being built near the corner of Main Street and East. The development will include a plaza, rooftop patio, restaurants, and 87 new apartments. Right now, the plan is to have it done by July of 2026.